In this video, we will talk about processing of ESI contribution of employers and making payment towards the same. Now in order to process ESI, we need to pass a payroll voucher entry. So in order to pass the entry, we access payroll vouchers option over here. And at the payroll voucher creation, you need to press Alt A so that payroll autofill options can be visible. Now for the field process for this time select the option ESI contribution and specify the month for which you want to process ESI contribution and for the field employee or group specify the group whose employee ESI you want to process or you can either select individual employees in case if you want to process ESI for an individual employee. And if you select the option all items, then ESI for individual employees and for employees belonging to specific group would be processed. So for our example, I will select the option sales group over here. And for the field sort by, I will select the option employee name. Now for the field payroll, bank or cash ledger, we need to specify a ledger which will hold ESI liability amount. So we need to create that ledger. So press Alt C so that we can create a ledger called ESI payable. And for the field pay type, specify the option not applicable and select the group as current liabilities and save the payhead creation or ledger creation. And then select the created ledger which is ESI payable ledger. So you can see on your screen when we process salary for the employees in sales group there are two employees and while we define their salary structure we included ESI contribution component. So when we process their salary the ESI contribution got calculated and now we are processing the same. So at this point now you can press Ctrl A to save this payroll voucher entry. So with this we processed employer ESI contribution. Now we are required to make payment towards the same. So we will go back to accounting vouchers and we will make payment to the ESI contribution. Now in order to uh, make ESI contribution payment we need to press Alt A over here and for the field process for select the option ESI Chalan specify the payment and the voucher date which is date of entry for the field employee group specify the group sales and select ESI payable ledger which will contain the liability amount to be paid and for the field bank or cash ledger we need to specify the method of payment whether you are making payment through cash or through bank since bank ledger doesn't exist I will select the option cash over here and after you fill up the payment autofill options you would be presented with payment calculation so rupees 500 is employees contribution towards ESI and 108 rupees are employees contribution towards ESI and after you are done with this you can save the entry by pressing ctrl A or you can press alt P so that you can print the ESI chalan so let me show you the preview for the print. So this is how the ESI Chalan would look like when it would be printed. So the total amount which the organization is liable to pay towards ESI is rupees 608 rupees. So that was all about ESI process. Now in the next video we will talk about payment towards professional tax.